Hey guys, thank you for clicking on this video. Above the video you will see a subscribe button. If you click it and subscribe then you will be able to keep up with my tutorials. Also make sure that at the end of this video you leave a like and if you really like the video then leave a favorite. Alright, enjoy the video! Hey what is going on guys Darius here and uh, today we have a new wonderful tutorial and we are going to be learning how to do relaxing backgrounds or relaxing wallpapers. You know on music channels how they upload um, chill step for example and then in the background you know as an image they have a really relaxing background with uh, some nice lighting some nice color correction that just goes along with the music. Well we're going to learn how to do that today and uh, as for examples we got um, this uh, couple lying on the grass and uh, we have this um, girl sitting in the water uh, meditating so these pictures um, they indicate relaxation and which is what we want when you're searching for, st for stocks um, to do some uh, relaxing backgrounds some chill backgrounds you need to find something that uh, is hinting um, relaxation but you can also do it with um, I don't know other pictures that may interest you but we are going to use these two, so we have a start, you know? Okay, so in this tutorial we will be learning to do some uh, bokeh brushes, we will be doing um, some color correction, and let's just see how it goes. So our first step is to add some curves, so we're going to go to our um, effects panel here, um, create new fill or adjustment layer, there we go, we're gonna click on that circle there, and we're going to select curves, and Right now we are just going to go up straight into the uh, blue channel and we are going to click here in the corner and you should have this um, this uh, plus with arrows and you're going to drag it down you're going to drag this blue uh, along the right side uh, along the right side until you get this um, yellowish effect on uh, the image and then you're going to go on this other side and just uh, put it up just a bit so we get a bit of blue in the picture and as you can see the picture is already having a nice color correction but we need to add more so what else can we do we are going to go to our uh, brush tool and we're going to select the uh, round brush tool this is the default brush tool soft round brush and the hardness should be zero and let's cramp crank up the size so that um, this br this brush will cover most of the image so let's put it at about oh that's too much let's put it at 1 500 let's see how that looks yeah that looks quite a bit nice so now I'm going to uh, go on the background click it and hold alt and sample this uh, yellow color um, from the background now you don't have this image but I'm going to make it available in the description in case you don't know what color this is you're going to go into your uh, color picker and you're going to add F F E C94. Pause the video and copy this text if you um, don't remember it that fast. Okay, so um, we're going to make a new layer on top of the curves and we're going to click once right in this corner here. And as you can see we have some nice sunlight just shining on the couple which is what we want. We're going to click on this other side, maybe just a bit more and uh, check that out. That's a nice chill background. Um, let's add some more um, some more color in this. So I'm going to go and add a gradient map from the same adjust adjustment panel that uh, we added the curves from, and um, I'm going to select the default uh, violet and orange gradient. Okay, <laughs> and now you're going to put this on uh, blending mode, soft light. And there we go, check out, that's a nice color correction. Let me just tone down the opacity because we don't want that much. We just want it um, a bit, you know, like uh, it's noon or something. Uh, like the sun is just setting up, uh, setting down. So uh, yeah, this looks this looks really nice. Um, let's learn how to make the bokeh brushes. And we're going to make a new layer on top of everything. Uh, and this is just a quick uh, bokeh brush tutorial. I'm going to select a uh, soft brush, size, I don't know, we can change it later, so let's make it about 119, the hardness, put it at about 62%, and uh, with the same yellow color that you have here, um, just click once in the standard, um, or anywhere there. You can see a uh, blurry circle in the background, um, let me just remove this Gmail watcher. 
uh, <laughs> it's it's an app you know that comes as it pops up uh, every time that I get a new um, a new email usually when someone subscribes or uh, comments on my videos I always uh, check everything yes I do it's kind of creepy anyway back to our um, circle thingy as you can see if I select it right now we have a circle there um, we need to hide everything or our, our uh, layers so by clicking on this eye that's next to the layers you can hide it hide them all and now we only have this uh, yellow blurry circle we go to uh, edit and then define brush preset and this is going to make a brush out of our circle so okay I'm going to click now and it automatically switches to your bokeh brush and as you can see I already made one before but I'm going to use this one that I just made right now um, when you define a new brush preset, your new brush will appear always at the bottom um, in your brush panel. So just click on the arrow here and rush to the bottom and you're going to have the bokeh brush selected. Yep. Um, now you, you can just unhide everything so we have them back as they, want, as they were. And I'm going to delete this layer and I'm going to make a new one again so we have a clean one. And now um, if I try to go with the bokeh brush over this image as you can see it's not making any bokeh it's just making some soft strokes and we don't want that we want bokeh yep so you're going to go here and toggle the brush panel you're going to click there and you're going to get this panel here you're going to go on shape dynamics and click it and um, everything seems on zero we're just going to leave it like that uh, maybe the size jitter yeah let's work on with the size jitter put it um i don't know 63% should do. Angle jitter, roundness, minimum diameter. What's this? Nah, we're not going to use that. Go to um, scattering. This is really important. And set the scattering to 1000%. And the count, make sure it's one because uh, we don't want to have too many bokehs. Uh, now go to transfer and uh, set the opacity jitter to 100%. And the rest you can leave them to zero. Okay, so um, let's see how this looks if I brush. Let me choose uh, black so we can see them better. There we go. You see the bouquets just appearing in the background. And they are also different sizes. Like you can go here also. Uh, you can select, for example, 57 pixels and you're going to see them better. Yep, there, those are our uh, bouquets. But we want the bouquets to be with uh, this. Um, yellow color that we have so I'm going to go and uh, select 136 and uh, god damn it I have to add the things again shape scattering blah 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 mm, I need to save this uh, brush preset so I don't have to add I'm gonna teach you that wait don't worry <laughs> it's gonna be in the brushes tutorial on the uh, Photoshop 101 series okay anyway okay it's right um, yellow color, you can sample it by holding Alt on the keyboard um, and just clicking on the yellow cur color. And uh, on a layer above everything, you're going to just add your bokehs. There we go. And they're just going to appear on top of the image. And they just are just going to give this relaxing, relaxing look to the image. And check that out, that is a fantastic, fantastic, relaxing background. Uh, it's much better from what we had before, which is this one which is, seems like a normal picture, but uh, these effects just really added something to them. Um, now let's do the same thing with uh, this girl. So we're going to go and make a uh, curves layer. There we go. We're going to go to our blue, and we're going to pump this down, and you're going to pump this up. And that's too much. We just want a little, little blue. And there we go. Okay. And I'm going to make a new layer, and I'm going to sample the uh, yellow color from here again. I, I just have it there at my disposal, I don't see why I should use uh, anything else. And I'm going to go and select a big, 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 big soft brush. And just make sure that it's big enough to cover um, at least half the image like this. So you're going to go to a corner and click there, and let me just zoom out. And click here, and there we go. Um, now let's add some color gradients gradient map and then you're going to select the default violet and orange gradient map and now you're going to go to uh, soft light and check that out that looks fantastic let me just lower the opacity just a bit come on there we go just a bit more uh there we go 62 percent should do 
and now we can add our uh, bokehs. We can uh, just go to our bokeh brush. There we go. Uh, let me just add the effects again, and blah blah blah. There we go. And I'm just going to put this on top, and you can see the bokehs that are just appearing on the image, which is what we want. And in just under a minute, we managed to make a relaxing background from uh, what we had before. Uh, this is relaxing. But it looks a bit not so, you know, uh, complex and um, chill like we wanted. So we just gave it a bit of chill with this. So now go ahead guys, try your chill wallpapers, try it with anything that you can find. Um, relaxing images or other images. Uh, I hope you learned something today. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Make sure to follow me on Facebook. I make daily giveaways with resources such as brushes, such as, um, I don't know, gradients, renders, C4Ds, anything that you need to do manipulations and stuff. Also, don't forget to check out our music channel on youtube.com slash playcoon. I'm going to put it uh, in the description as a link as long as... Um, uh, as the Facebook page, <laughs> the Facebook page link is going to be there too. So make sure to go and click them, um, like me on Facebook, uh, like Bacarts on Facebook, and <laughs> subscribe to the new music channel. We uh, post there almost every day, about three songs a day. So that's it, that's the end of the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in a bit. Cheers! <laughs>